Hey, calm down you two. And today we're going to the Cornish Seal Sanctuary. <laughs> Hard to say that. Isn't it? <laughs> the Cornish Seal Sanctuary. So we're gonna have breakfast with the seals. I don't know what they fancy for breakfast: bacon, bacon <laughs> scrambled sandwich, eggs. Scrambled I don't know. Egg, a bit of this, beans, bit of uh, black pudding. Yeah. I think they're gonna be having fish. Do you want <laughs> to get all your seal impressions out of the way now, Marcus? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's good. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fish um so when they first come into us and if they're very young they'll be fed fish soup that's mixed with basically like a leucosade solution so it's kind of like, like a fishy leucosade oh nice <laughs> absolutely delightful so the weird noises they make as well it tends to be because they're hungry uh, and when they're younger they're thought to be very vocal communicators as well they are kind of like very, very crazy. And then in there somewhere we've got our older seal. I don't know where she's gone. Probably pop up in this minute. So Sheba, when she arrives, um, is 44 years old. No, 43 years old now. She'll be 44 this year. So she was rescued by Ken Jones as well, which is pretty amazing. So she's a lovely little legacy. But again, she's got eye condition. There she is. She's just over by the step there. Um, she's kind of like the model of all the pups. <laughs> Looks after them all. Okay, so this is our rehabilitation pool. Uh, so this is the final stage of rehab for our pups, basically. So we'll pop them in here. Uh, once they're very good at competing with their fish and they know how to socialise with the adults. Uh, they've got to weigh about 35 to 40 kilos before they can be released. So they'll go into here. Um, just before they're ready and they're up to their target weight. We'll wait for a good day of like, good weather, good surf for the pups to go out in. Uh, ideally we want a period of about three days so that we know that when they get back out into the wild uh, they're going to be okay for the first few days. Got a bit of, um, so this pool is great because you'll notice it's a little bit smaller than our, uh, in our, than our convalescence pool. Uh, this is just so we can drain it really really fast when it comes to release day. We can then pop them into the trailer and we can take them off to the beach so uh, to release them. at the same time then? Yes, yes, we try and release them in about groups about six to ten. Um, just because then as well it's a little bit easier for us to take them all out at the same time. But it's also great for these guys because if there's any that are slightly left confident, they kind of see the adults going that way and they're like, oh yeah, I need to go that way. Now. So we've got Pumpkin just here. Okay. Badger is the little dark one. <laughs> and Yule Logs is just there as well. Um, and then somewhere we've got Marlin. after these guys when they came to us first of all they wouldn't get in the water because it was just too cold from what they were used to um, and then we were told that they would be able to do their husbandry training and we were trying to do it with them and they just wouldn't do it right. <laughs> so we later to, like, established that they learned it all in Spanish uh, so oh, we had to reteach really them in English <laughs> I was going to say oh you have to learn Spanish <laughs> no it's okay we've got bilingual seals instead <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Mel? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I enjoyed <laughs> seeing you getting your hands in with the fish. Oh, yeah. And feeding them. Even Lucky though, I had gloves. Even with gloves, I got a bit of... Even though you don't eat fish, do you? I know. So that was interesting. <laughs> no, it was really good. Oh, that seagull was after them as well. So. To find yeah. out, yeah, and find out all about the pups and yeah. what they do with them in the in the Cornwall, Corn Cornish a Seal Sanctuary. Highly recommended. Yes, definitely. It was definitely a good... And, um, and I think it's a good idea to... 
do a, the breakfast with the yeah a good day seals, out yeah because um you get to learn a long haul <laughs> what's that what's that noise <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the tweenies rug in the background <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you do get to learn quite a lot more by being shown around by a member of staff and having breakfast is nice as well. Yeah. There's quite a lot of possums. 